Individual and group activities are key elements of the Learning Innovation Network. As shown by multiple studies, activities foster relationship among the actors of the experience and their environment, generating deep and lasting learning. Many pedagogical frameworks give an important role to student activities, starting from different initial stimuli, like exercises, most individual, proposed by associative perspective, concrete experiences, exploration and solving problems, knowledge re-elaboration. The flipped classroom approach is also based on making the most out of the time spent in the classroom. The goal is the application of knowledge through an interactive dynamic among the teacher and peers. All of these frameworks aim at creating active learning environments, context in which students are stimulated to acquire new knowledge, abilities and skills. In this paradigm, active teaching works side by side with frontal teaching. In a paradigm based on frontal lesson, we mainly start from contents. In other words, what to teach and how to transfer them. If we integrate this paradigm with active teaching frameworks, the focus tends to shift towards the intended learning outcomes. What the students need to master, how the students can reach the outcomes and how we as teacher can help them. Of course, there is not a single solution that is valid in an absolute way. Often the objectives can be met by implementing both approaches. To stimulate deep learning, it is therefore necessary to find the right mix of frontal and active teaching. The mix has to keep in consideration the subject's needs, the time available, the number of students. In this alternation of frontal and active teaching, activities are crucial in both dimensions. Even during frontal teaching experiences, short activities can be very helpful in keeping up the level of attention and encouraging the effective acquisition of contents. Going from a paradigm that is mostly based on a frontal lesson to a paradigm that maximizes active learning moments means also changing the role of the teachers. It means going from a teacher speaker to a teacher designer. While the teacher speaker is in full control of what happens in the classroom, the teacher designer needs to stimulate participation in the activities through constant feedback, both in terms of content and in terms of process. In this context, the feeling might be of losing control of the classroom. So, what can we do to reduce this feeling even in situations with large classes? The first thing we can do is suggest proximal challenges, which are sufficiently demanding, but not impossible to achieve. The second thing is to remember that the teacher is a director and facilitator of the teaching and learning experience. He is also the leader and therefore must deliver clear rules and objectives. A crucial moment is the classroom agreement. At the beginning of the course, the teacher must dedicate some time to explain the objectives and methods of the program and underline the importance of active participation. In terms of the classroom agreement, the teacher can enlist the help of the students who can put social control and collaboration into place. Something else we can do is to plan feedback and discussion with the whole class, which is useful for the teacher to reassess and refocus on the objectives of the program and the rules of the game. It is also possible to give some form of input connected to the activity, both in terms of participation and quality of participation, for example, a bonus that is integrated into the final evaluation. Finally, the attitude of the teacher and the quality of his presence in the classroom plays a key role for the value of active teaching to be perceived. 
During the practice, for example, it's important to resist the temptation of doing something else while the students are working, and instead walking among the desk to stimulate the request of feedback. In conclusion, planning the right mix of frontal and active teaching is crucial in order to stimulate deep learning. The teacher, moreover, can choose from various strategies in this new role as a facilitator of active learning dynamics.